Um, and now here's something interesting. Uh, William Salyers, um, he is saying Umaga Hall of Fame 2025. Yeah. You know, I've been pushing for my brother to I, I've seen get into the Hall of Fame on, you know, my Twitter handle and, you know, my social media and so forth. You know, it's just, you know, I feel like Yankee deserves a spot uh, into the WWE Hall of Fame. You know, uh, uh, his work speaks for itself. Uh, the person speaks for itself. Uh, if you know, then you know. Uh, a lot of the boys, a lot of the divas, you know, uh, love Eki. And, uh, you know, the fans, you know, the, the fans are, you're the one that truly can make this happen is to, uh, you know, to go in there and voice your your opinion and so forth. If you see me post up about my brother, and it, it ain't but a simple repost. You don't even have to, you know, repost with a quote. But, uh, you know, the, and, and they see it, you know, at the end of the day, I just feel like he's, uh, it, it's time, you know. Uh, He's been gone since '09, and uh, you know, Eki, he, he's put in a lot of work, just in the wrestling industry in general. So, you know, I'm always going to keep on pushing for my brother. You know, I feel like that. Uh, you know, my uh, my younger brothers, uh, the Tonga kid as well. You know, should be uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame. I feel like Samu. You know, the head trickers. You know, he should be inducted. I mean. Uh, pretty much, uh, you know, all of us, when we say 75 plus years, past, yes. past in the future, it, dude, I mean, whether you like us or not, we put in work. Yes, sir. We put in work, you know, in not only in WWE, but just in the wrestling business alone. And, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, this is just me with my humble opinion. I'm not forcing this down anybody's throat. But I'm just, you know, speaking facts of yes, what sir. it is. At the end of the day, you know, it's a recognition. But a lot of us walk away with a memory that can be embedded in everybody's uh, mind. But we walk away with aches and pains. You know, our life goes on in the second part of our lives to be able to catch up with our families and our grandkids. And, you know, to be able to, you know, kind of be active as best as we can without you know without uh without dealing with the aches and pains you know and i never like to show that when i'm around my family or so forth when i'm just might be a sciatica nerve there might be a vertebrae that's just you know for years is you know but i don't want my problems to be their problems you know this is what i signed up for this is what we signed up for and this is the outcome uh, when you're at that part in your career, you know, be it at the beginning or <clears throat> towards the end. So, yeah, let's uh, let's hope that, you know, they're able to, you know, to get in some of the family members. Uh, definitely Umaga, definitely sure. the Tonka kid, you know, man, so, he was Roddy Piper. And, mm -hmm. of, and you got Samu, you know, we were the first uh, to win the tag team belts as far as together. You know, when we first teamed up in, into the WWF back in the day. So, you know, let's hope, let's hopefully that goes through. Yeah. So, speaking of TK being in the Hall of Fame, uh, Tonga Kid, now do you see him going in single or do you see him going in uh, with uh, Haku as the Islanders with Bobby Heenan? Well, I, I would kind of see him going in with the Islanders with Bobby Heenan. Uh, I mean, definitely Tonga Kid was, uh, he had a hell of a singles career, you know, himself, but not too long. Uh, he was more so with Jimmy Snuka. But the real, when he really took off, when, I would have to say when he was a part of the Islanders with, you know, Uncle Haku and uh, the late, great uh, Bobby Heenan, the best to do it, man. The best. Um, so, oh, my God. I, I, I kind of see that, you know. I, I don't even think, you know, there's a guy too, Haku. Like, why is he not, you know, into the Hall of Fame yet? You know, he should be as well, uh, be inducted into the Hall of Fame. So there's just so many of uh, uh, of us in the bloodline that's tied in together, you know, that, you know, definitely, you know, deserve a right, 
you know, to be able to take the seat into the elite club of uh, uh, being a WWE Hall of Fame. 